Hey everyone, if you're watching this video, you clicked on the video guide for how to create an Amazon list, along with looking at how to complete the form with the list of your items that you're looking to order uh, through Amazon. So when you're in Amazon, if you go up to the top where it says accounts and lists, you can create lists of different supplies or items that you need purchased for your classroom. Um, you can either use an existing list or you can create a new one. I'm gonna create one just as an example, by hitting create list. From here, you can create a name, whatever you want it to be. So maybe you want a specific unit of supplies or something else. I'm going to make this my unit two list, uh, and you're going to hit create. Uh, from here, you can go to add items to your list, whatever you would like, um, or you can just go into your search bar and begin searching. So let's say you need paper. You can begin to add it through that and delete it if you need. You can also go up here and you can search for whatever items you need as well. So let's say you want to add an order of paper that you need purchased. Uh, you go to the right side here, you scroll down to add to list. And from here you can find whatever list you've made and add it in. Now, if you continue to add items, whatever it is you may need, you can continue to add to list as well until you have created the list of all the supplies you need. From there, you can find your list in your uh, top bar here. Again, here's my unit two list. It'll have all of the items that you're looking to purchase for your classroom. Let's say you need more than one of these items. You can go over to the right-hand side underneath add cart, add quantity, Let's say you need three of these, you can hit three and save, and so on and so forth, however much you need of each item. From here, you have all of your items with the quantity need them, needed. You can look to then send list to others, and from here, you can click on the view only button to find the link you need. So you have just created your list of items that you've added You've just added the number you needed, and we've just found, it, found the list uh, link for the order form. From there, you're going to need to fill out the form. So you'll have your name. You'll have the total number of items. Uh, so I had three, four, five, six. Cost of the total order. Uh, from here, you can pull out a calculator or whatever works best. Okay, so once I calculate all this out, for example, let's say it was $200. And from there, I will copy and paste the link I need. If there's any special instructions from there, you can add them in. If none, hit none. And we're good. That's it. That's all you need to do. Um, you'll hit submit. And from there, an email will be sent to Brandy with your order so she can uh, look to purchase it for you. And you should receive an email uh, with the submission of this Google form for your own records. Uh, that's how you go ahead and complete an Amazon list along with the form. If you have questions, reach out.